Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, May 15th, 2018, and this is News Break, and I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, in a jarring contrast, Israeli forces shot and killed at least 60 Palestinians, wounded more than 1,200 during the mass protests. Let's not, when we say 60 people died, remember, these are people that will no longer inhabit this earth any longer, okay? Uh, meanwhile, just a few miles away, uh, Israel and the United States are having a happy fizzies party over the opening of the embassy in Jerusalem. Uh, actually, it's not so much an embassy as it's an office building with two, two rooms they're renting out. Yeah, I'm serious, folks. All that over this. Uh, to, today, by the way, uh, in case you weren't looking, you didn't mark it on your calendar, is the anniversary of the founding of Israel in 1948, a very happy day for Israel, a very sad day for the Palestinians. First Lady Melania Trump underwent a procedure to treat a benign kidney condition on Monday at Walter Reed Hospital for an embolism procedure. Uh, Trump uh, will likely remain in the hospital for the rest of the week. An embolism procedure starves the blood supply to the effective area, much like the operation a few years ago that Trump had on his brain. Uh, Kensington Palace issued a statement in advance of the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle that her father won't be attending. Uh, Britain's royal family requested understanding and respect be extended to Meghan Markle's father, Thomas Markle, amid the difficult situation. Uh, somehow he had some pictures taken by the paparazzi of him looking at pictures of England and whatever. Anyway, it was embarrassing, supposedly, to the royal family. What would be really embarrassing is if that big fat piece of shit showed up. Have you seen him? How in the world does a woman as beautiful as Meghan Markle come out of somebody like that, or not out of, his sperm somehow survived him. Uh, let me see here. Oh, yeah. Here's a couple of U.S. Supreme Court uh, decisions that came up. Uh, in the first case, McCoy versus Louisiana, the court voted 6-3 to three to overturn defendant Robert McCoy's death sentence after his private attorney, Larry English, entered a plea, a guilty plea, despite McCoy's constant objections. OK, so apparently uh, if you don't want to plead guilty, your lawyer can't go ahead and plead guilty for you. And the Supreme Court also reached a unanimous agreement in the case of Byrd versus the United States ruling a driver who has permission to use a rental car is entitled to the same Fourth Amendment protections as a driver who rented the car. The court ruled in favor of Terrence Byrd, who faced federal charges after police found body armor and... 49 bricks of heroin in his trunk as he was driving a rental car that his fiancée, Latasha Reed, rented. And researchers using digital photo editing techniques have managed to read a text on two pages from Anne Frank's world-famous wartime diary that the teenager had covered with brown masking paper, revealing, you get this, this is what she wrote, Risque jokes and an explanation of sex and prostitution. I'm not kidding you. Well, this will never make it to the next Anne Frank movie. Uh, Anne Frank Foundation announced the discovery Tuesday, saying it helps explain her adolescent interest in sexuality. And now it's time for our picture of the day, and this is a just beautiful picture. Beautiful picture. It comes from the New York Times of London. There's a thing called parkour. Are you familiar with parkour? It's a sport in which you use the, uh, 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 I don't know, urban terrain to jump from building to building and up fire escapes and across ledges and things like that. Uh, it was used in the beginning of uh, Casino Royale, if you remember that uh, opening sequence of chasing a guy all over the place. Well, anyway, more than 50 athletes tackled the free running and parkour World Series in the city of Mardin in eastern Turkey over the weekend. And look at this picture. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a guy jumping from one building. Let's hope he made it to the other building. And then he probably ran around that and jumped to another building, to another building, to another building. But I just thought you should see that because it is just gorgeous. Well, in our clip today from our citizens panel, this was on Friday, and somebody wrote me on the on uh, Facebook and said, uh, are you going to do traffic? No, we're not going to do traffic, 
But in this case, we did do weather. So Which, if I could give a weather report, just to let everybody know. Wait uh, a minute, the wait, wait a minute. Okay, here, here, here's Renee with the weather. Go ahead, Renee. <laughs> so the Hawaii weather report for tomorrow is the trades wind, trade winds are kicking in, so all the islands will be beautiful except for ours. So if you're going to Honolulu, Maui, in Kauai, any of them, they're all solid. Well, why won't the trade winds take care of all the smoke? It, no, it is going to. It's gonna. The trade winds are going to kick in and blow it all out down south to us. And that was our citizen panel and your weather report for Hawaii. All is well. All is good. Anyway, we'll be on again tonight with the citizens panel. We're on from Tuesday to Friday at 10 o'clock Eastern time. And uh, if you look right down there, see? There's our uh, address. You go to that. You go to youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live at 10 o'clock and you'll, you'll see our, uh, our video. But if you go to that page right now, youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett forward slash live and uh, uh, tab it in your browser, there's a countdown there of the show coming up and it'll always be there. And then when the show starts, it automatically starts. Very simple. We're also, after the show, you can find our videos on uh, Facebook, Roku, YouTube, Vimeo, and uh, live stream. A lot of places. We're around town more than a cheap suit. Well, that's it. Thank you for joining us on Newsbreak.